Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody is new and joining me here today, thank you so much. My slogan is believable brown beauty and I like to use makeup in slightly weird ways sometimes. Now that doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and get involved, it just means that's the kind of makeup I do on this channel. So if that sounds like something you like, please keep watching. Right, for today's makeup I've decided to do a day to night look because a lot of the time people are going out straight after work, especially on like Friday nights and we don't always have the time to kind of redo the whole thing. So I thought I'd show you how you can transform something quite conventional into something a bit more sultry and glam for a night out. So let's get into it. First of all, we're gonna start on skin and sorry if I don't like go into massive detail about what I'm doing because this video is about transforming one look to another. So I don't want to spend too much time on skin. I'm just using my Makeup Forever palette to do some colour balancing in the lower half of my face because I tend to be a little bit dark around the mouth. Moving on to foundation, I am using the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. The colour I wear is 7.25. This may be a little bit light for me at the moment because I've been out in the sun quite a lot so I think my skin's a bit darker but I'll see if I can pull it off. I have Mount Vesuvius chilling on my face here. I've never had a spot that painful before. It's so irritating. I'm gonna pop my concealer on quickly. And let that sit there for a little while whilst I quickly set my brows. I'm using my Benefit 24 hour brow setter and the concealer was my regular NARS Radiant Creamy. So, brush up Struggleina and then this. I feel like this eyebrow should have a name too, seeing it's just the well behaved, the well behaved brow. It's like the naughty one has got a name and the good one doesn't. I wonder what I can come up with for this one. Right, I'm taking a medium shadow brush and blending in my concealer, which was the NARS Radiant Creamy in Amand. Now I'm filling in my brows and I'm using my 24 hour, no you're not, I'm using my precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. I really love this pencil at the moment. It has replaced uh, my NYX Espresso pencil, I used to use that all the time but I really like this one too. So I'm just lightly filling in this one. Let's take the spoolie and just soften everything through. And do this brow too. Now moving on to my eyes. So I'm taking the Beauty Pie Stick in Choco and just working this onto my lid. And I'm gonna use my finger today just to blend it through. This is a really good product, it really stays and sets in place. Just make sure you don't run out of fingers. So I'm going into my Amber Times 9 palette from MAC and the colour I'm using I've picked is Georgia Peach and I'm just going to do a really simple daytime look. So I'm using the 239 and just patting this on top of the Beauty Pie colour underneath. Then I'm taking a 217 and just softening the edges of this. And then just repeat the same process on the other eye. So stamp it on with this brush first. It's going to make sure that it really locks it in place. And then just blend the edges with the 217 after. It's funny because this doesn't look peach on me at all. I guess that's also because of the pencil that I've used underneath. So I'm just really blending this in and making sure it's lovely and smooth. Then I'm going to go on to my mascara and ordinarily I would use both of my mascaras now but because I'm creating a really soft daytime look I'm just going to use my extended play first and then when we change it to the more glam evening makeup I'll go over this mascara with my In Extreme Dimension. You want to make sure you get the lashes on the outer corner and the inner corner as well. Make sure your eye look as long as possible. 
and then just a tiny bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Next I'm doing my blush. I'm taking my um, Sephora Creamy Lip Stain in number 8 and I'm going to mix that with a little bit of my foundation just so it's not so bright. Then I'm going to go in with the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques and just softly apply this to the cheeks. And you'll find if you mix um, like a lip product, especially the liquid lipsticks with your foundation, they'll be much easier to blend. So really soft and natural. Then for lips, I'm going to use my NYX Butter Gloss in Praline. Now I'm going to set. So as usual, I'm taking my Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark and just sweeping that underneath my eyes. And this is a Bobbi Brown Eye Blender brush that I'm using today. The next, it's my Cover Effects Matte Setting Powder and the color I use is Deep, just on the sides of my nose here where it gets shiny. Tip of my nose. And then just under the blush, because I like the sheen that the blush leaves on the skin, so I don't want to cancel that out. And then just under my nose as well. I forgot to do this in my last video and it looked hella shiny. I'm going to take a tiny bit of that powder and just in the middle of my forehead. And for anyone who's new and thinking, oh, she didn't put any foundation on her forehead, I don't always do that. Sometimes I like to leave it quite natural and today was one of those days. Next, I'm taking my Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder in number five, and I'm using a Cosette S140 brush, and I'm just gonna use this on my forehead. I love to use this powder to warm up my skin, but it takes the shine down at the same time, so yeah, it's a win-win. And then just lightly sculpt the cheeks and the temples as well. So there you have it guys, this is the first part of the look. It's a really simple and natural makeup that you can wear to work or just like a really casual day makeup. Um, it's very long lasting as well, so that's definitely a bonus. And if you're going to be adding to your makeup later on the day, try and use things that are really long wearing so you don't have to do the whole process again. So now I'm gonna show you how to change it into something more glam. I'm taking a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Plum and I'm literally just gonna color in all over what I've done before. Try and keep your shape neat. It makes it much easier when you want to blend later. Then I'm taking a 217, the same one that we used before, so just imagine that I've picked this up out of my makeup bag. It's got a tiny bit of shadow on it, but that's really good because it helps to blend the edges into the old makeup that was underneath. Pull it out a little bit, and then go over it again just to intensify the color a bit more. Repeat the process on the other eye. Then I'm taking that same brush with no extra products on it and just using the leftover to run underneath my lash line. And this is a really nice way to create a bit of smokiness without it going too full on. Then I'm going back to the palette and I'm taking a color called Don't Tell and I'm using my finger this time and I'm literally just gonna press this on top. This shadow has got a lot of shimmer in it, so it adds a really sparkly, glamorous element to the makeup. But what I love is that it's not glitter, so you're not going to get fallout on the face, and that's so important when you're just going over makeup that you've got already on. Then I'm going to take a little pencil brush and just pop that on the inner corner as well to act as a highlight. Then I'm going to use a tiny bit of the colour Kitties, just to make that pop even more. And I love to use my finger to press it in. Just blend it and melt it into the skin. Next I'm taking my matte cold pencil in Feline and just lining the lashes here. This is going to be a really easy way to create like smoke and drama with the makeup. I'm going to go back to the pencil brush and literally just blend the top edge of the pencil away. And then I'm taking the same pencil and running it underneath as well. And on the waterline too. 
go back to the pencil brush and then just smudge that in as well. I don't know if I said the number of this brush, but it's LY13. And I'm going to pull it out and wing out the smokiness a tiny bit on the corner. You can see how much more drama just using a black pencil adds to the makeup. So yeah, that's a good tip. Always keep one of those in your handbag. There's so much you can do with a black hole pencil. I almost forgot to press record. I've done this eye, but I'm gonna repeat what I said on this eye on this side. So, what I said was, um, even if you don't use these mascaras, I would recommend using a mascara that's quite flexible initially. If you use one that's too stiff and it sets too hard, um, you could run the risk of breaking your lashes and it'll just go on all clumpy and horrible. So use one that's not too stiff. And then you can use a more dramatic volumizing mascara to go over the top. Same rules apply, make sure you get the outer corner lashes and the ones right in the corner as well. For this look, I'm going to put mascara on my lower lashes too. Now I'm gonna change the lip. So I'm just taking a wipe and taking off the old lip gloss. Make sure it's not too wet. Then I'll take my Costa Rica eye pencil And this time I'm taking Mer lipstick. And I'm just gonna go back with a pencil and make the edge a bit sharper. I'm gonna take more of the creamy lip stain from Sephora, go back to the expert face brush, and just punch up my blush a tiny bit now. Okay, so I know some of you are thinking, what about my skin? Like I would have been in my foundation all day. How am I gonna make that look good? I've got a little hack. I like to use these mists to refresh the skin, so I'm gonna show you what I would do. And there's a reason why I did my blush beforehand and I'll explain that afterwards. So I'm just gonna take my Fix Plus. I know they do mini versions of this so you could carry that around in your bag. And just spritz all over. Then I'm going to use my favorite products. So I love Mineralize Skin Finish for topping up or refreshing skin. It's got a decent amount of coverage, but it's a powder, so you don't have to do your liquid foundation all over again. And the reason why I did my blush first is if you can see, I'm using it to blend the edges away. So it doesn't look hard, like my blush is just like slapped on top. It kind of makes it look like it's coming from within and I prefer that. So I use the dark just um, across my cheeks and then I'm going to use the dark deep, which is much warmer on the lower half of my face. And these are great because they're compacts as well. So if you sit with a loose powder in the morning, you can just use pressed ones in the daytime later on. And you can see I still have a sheen on my cheeks. I haven't gone over there. I like, I like that kind of slightly glossy look to the cheek. So guys, there you have it. This is the final look for today. I thought this would be a cool thing to do. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, this was fun to do, like I say in every video, but this was really fun to do. Um, I just hope it's given you a few ideas of how you can change your makeup if you're going from something much more conservative to something way more fun. Um, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, I'll leave my handle for you here. I do live videos on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT. So if you want to watch me do makeup in real time and just have a chat, please follow me there. Um, I think... Do I have anything else to say? Oh yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, bye.